going from Mario to the Peach. Oh, that dude. Yeah, that's the main villain. What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crumb. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. You get three seconds and then I skip. I have a report, sir. The crystal star is in Boggly Woods and apparently has been taken by Mario. What? Oh, oh, sorry. You can do it if you want. No, you, you probably can. You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Oh, sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid him, laid him all a beating. This guy. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, Eknot. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle. Bogley Woods, and the one we got in Rogue Pool. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking, so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. x Force. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up. You, I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Please be X. Mario, I love you. What a great exit line. <laughs> what? Oh, Mario. Oh, okay. Oh, Mario. Mario. You are how I ever I wonder so many things. I wonder how I even stand up at castle. Well, I never dance. At the mushroom ball again. What will we bleh, What will become of me? Get that alone, bitch. Hey guys, Super G here. I'm Nick. I'm Cal. I'm uh, Peach. Apparently. Oh, is this tech doing again? What tech? Remember the computer. Well, one recording, one very slight recording, and my voice is shot already. Uh, I guess it was a TV glitch that happened? I don't really know. I thought my Wii, like, blew up. Hello, Princess Peach. I'm glad you came. <laughs> that man, I sent Mario. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the email. I read your... You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Are you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Beach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. Pull a face out of you right here. Oh, yeah, that is me. Jesus. <laughs> I'm, I'm reading it, and I'm like, so who's gonna read it? <laughs> but it is odd. When you said that... <laughs> I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There is no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together is part of love. Today, a computer. Princess Beach, please dance with me. <laughs> so bizarre. Just come to the beach. Just to your computer. I mean, how in the work. world can you, okay, can you I dance with you? You have no arms, feet, or knees. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Just put, oh, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Is that how I look like? 
Oh, 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 it's right, like in one episode of Victorious when uh, Robbie had those fangs of cat and cat had no idea. Yo, I must say, you know, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. Ooh, it's like Cooper dancing. Kind of. It's just weirder. It's very weird. Imagine dancing with yourself. I don't think this goes on that long. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Couldn't stand another minute of that. Thank you, Princess Beach. That was very fun. Just a moment. I'm cute. Fun? What is fun? This is... Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Fun? Is that an emotion? Hey, are you okay? Princess Beach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. Because for some reason I can reach Mario's phone. In 2004. The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. You're a weird computer. Now, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Beach. How's your voice, Cal? Oh, I'm fine. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, no. Because something's coming up that Professor. you're gonna need it for. Professor. I know who this is. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. <laughs> <laughs> right as usual, Lord Bowser. Oh, wait, the... What? Is that you? Yeah, Did that's you? him. Yeah, that's you. Uh, <laughs> you do your weird Mexican maid voice. Dora. Oh, uh... Oh, Alright, I'll let you find it. Oh, fuck. We feel soft wood. That Bluster speech was spotted in town ahead. Good! Yes! Very good! Then I'm off! These fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. Damn right, bitch. One may call him the Super Bowser Brothers. I'm ready to roll. Let's go. Wait, what, what the? Is it fucking ham? Yes. Uh, what? I got hit. Oh, that time <laughs> the hand makes him bigger. And less easy to control. It feels, I feel like every time like, you try to do that, it's just like a giant lag. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's fucking gay. <laughs> that little section right there is what inspired Super Paper Mario. Wait, seriously? Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, welcome to Pedalburg, and... What it was. Yes, I just checking chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I what I do need though is Princess Peach. Now where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. 
<laughs> Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. That's not a... That's Wait. not Sting. That's a picture of Sting. <laughs> <laughs> now, now. No of that silent treatment. You're coming to the castle with me. The mind of a maiden is well rather complicated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see, I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome! I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know? No! Oh, that was you again. My, my life's a treasure! I'd rather die than give up! My life-size peach post! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Poster! <laughs> great! Just great! You now look like a huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters! Uh, oh, jeez, that was a lot. I asked you if your voice was ready. I thought you meant just in general. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll... Now we have that to look forward to every uh, every chapter. Yes, bitches. I'm thanking Mario for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son. Now that I have a new voice every time I talk to you. Now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. That's actually the best one yet. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. I'm never coming back here. Okay, 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 enough. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with all the size, blah, blah, blah. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, this... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shouldn't be our worst visit. Certainly not. But until then, Nick of the Lion. See Mario. Okay, let's get out of this hellacious little friggin' hell. I hate this place. My throat is feeling it. My brain is feeling it. <sighs> oh, come on. Oh, mercy me! Sounds like some mail. <laughs> oh, I thought Pariah Carey was gonna come by. Huh? They're Mario. What the? That's the peach. That's the peaches email. Dear, oh dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please log by the next time with more words about you. I see you two kidnap me are searching desperately for the crystal story. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email you again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately I spent about half days back in the castle. I hope we can spend carefree days there again soon. Isn't that precious, Mario? <laughs> Sorry, I was playing with your phone book. It still exists in 2020 somehow. That's not a phone book, Kel. <laughs> it's johnstonesupply.com. That's my dad's <laughs> supply book. <laughs> you thought that was a phone book? <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, Nick, I need those supplies. You really thought that was a phone phone book, Cal? I mean, it's fat enough to be a phone book. And yeah, but if it says supply, you... I didn't see the supply thing there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think we have to see Franklin again, but let's go for it. 
What, you're trying to kill my voice? <laughs> Alright, back back to Frankly. She's in our way. Okay, then I definitely don't have to talk to him, but because I'm here... Oh, so you managed to get the Crystal Star from Bogley Woods without much trouble! <laughs> well, I've learned several vital things, but first go to the Thousand Year Door. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cal. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, so remember this thing right here? Now we know what we could use this for. And that gets us a very nice Happy Heart Pea Bag. <laughs> pea. As for a pot bag. Wholesome pea. Oh, God. I think this is the way to the Thousand Year Door. Yes, it is. Yay, I remember something with this game for once. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time! Show me the way! The Crystal Way! Here I am! Oh, I'm so good! <laughs> That video actually got put out today. It did? Yeah. What? Yeah. You sent me the 4PG loading thing like a month ago. What? You, s you sent us the video of that. Did didn't you like, have like a promo video for it? Like no. a month ago? I cut it out for frankly. Oh. Anyway, we're talking about where we're headed next. And this is going to be so good. I'm so excited for this. We're going to the sky, boys. What is that, Chinatown? Yes. Uh, gonna be, oh, big dog? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so, the big dog! I'm so ready for this chapter. You better have a kick-ass partner. We do. Oh. He really does kick ass. Look at that. That's my leg. Wait, isn't it Yoshi? You'll see. <laughs> You'll see what it is. Not Yoshi? <laughs> Cal, read the line. Oh, mercy! The next crystal star has made my entrance. In entrance. What is it? Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. But isn't that up in the sky? What does that mean? Mm. To Maybe. Professor Frankly. Oh, Again. It means we I'm have to go out in the sky. I'm going to need some water. <laughs> that means beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. Wait, is that actually Frankly? Yeah. Speaking? Oh, okay. <laughs> and that door's been sealed shut for thousands of years by the crystal stars. In order to seal, we have the most of power of all the crystal stars. Okay, I need some water right now. Nick, give me some water. So, wh where's the water? Oh, well, I get it for you. I'll get it for you. Jesus. I'll get it. That voice takes a lot out of you. Do they fear thieves and bugs? Shut the fuck up, you do it horribly. First of all, you pointed to him and not to me. So uh, I, I, meant, I meant doing like that, like in front of your face, like shut it. <laughs> shut it. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, I, okay, I don't care. You, 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 you could just go to the next one. No, that's not. Is that him that's again? Flurry. Hmm. That's not what. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, please. They totally just met too. <laughs> I'm sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. <laughs> All that's written in this is, darkness stole the sky and the cata cataclysm yes. rained down. Correct. I must research this more, assuming we'll just take an, well, you know the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of the crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the 
stony town of Blitzville. Let's go. There's a stunning arena there with great warriors engaging, engaging in furious battles. Let's go. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights. But behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the battles. Let's go. Floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell, you fucking float. <laughs> <laughs> a special blimp flies there in the parts of Rogueport several times a day. SpongeBob bus is here. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh my god, are we gonna meet them right now? No way we're gonna meet them Whoa, right now. That sounds exciting. A little... On the city side. Well, Show me the way. No, not yet. <laughs> I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Okay, you didn't blow out the mic. Oh. I thought you did. <laughs> we're on the street as all tickets go through Don Piazza on the west side. Yes, we're meeting Don Piazza. I call voicing it. Don Piano? Is, is, that, is that the one you want to... Want no, to no, 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 no. We're no. meeting Don Piano. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, Don Piano. Head west on Roadport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That'd be Don Piano. That part of town is under the control of Don Piazza, a Piazza syndicate head. Yes. <laughs> guy? Apparently, Don Piazza makes pretty regular jaws over to Glitzville. Oh, I like the sound of this Don Piazza fellow. I cannot oh, wait Piano. to meet him. Who can do the best Italian gangster? That I, is my I, question right now. I mean, I have a pretty good voice in mind. De Niro? It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors are uh, rumors about him are scary. And Don Piazza is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. All right, let's go meet Don Pianta because he's the, he's the best thing ever. Don Piano? I don't know if you're I don't know if you want Italian, but I can I got a good voice in mind. Oh, dude, just uh, Joe Pesci. Uh, I'll do it now. Okay, you see a lot of. Is that Luigi over yes. there? Yes. Remember we saw Luigi last chapter? Oh, he, he wanted to tell us a story, but he didn't. Okay, so I kind of forgot how this goes, so oh, I'm gonna dude. look at my oh, look my, at my god real quick, but. Like Alright, so let's like pass it. the noose. Get over here. Remember, we stepped on this bitch's contact lens. Yeah. She won't let us pass. Yeah. So we gotta go into the shop. Hope to God we have a few coins. I'm pretty sure we have like at least 12. Hey there, fella. Welcome to the Toad Bros. Bazaar. What can I do for you? Uh. need a contact lens. Ah, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Wait just a moment. For some reason, I gotta go ask Jeremy over here if he has another contact lens. Hey, Mario! Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I could special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Oh. All right. Let's go and talk to the green bitch again. No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story, I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. Okay, Aunt Jemima. Ah! My rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. Jesus. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> I don't know. Can you talk to him? Yeah. Let's talk to this. Hey, 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 yo. I got all the hottest new products. <laughs> hey, yo. We got Wait. all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You got to even look at the man with the oh. bucket. Want to buy some? The bearded man. What the hell? Oh. Jesus. It's a lot of coins. Well, time to grind, guys. What? No shopping? Sorry to hear that, my man. This is a limited time offer. And he changes his stuff. <laughs> I don't want to hang myself. I forget what we do when we 
What can I see? It's very classified information. I forgot what we do in in killing time to wait for this lens. I really forgot. What the fuck is? Is that a gold? Want to talk to him? What? Yeah, we got time to kill. Yeah. <laughs> well, I went to the Rumble Bomb. He's my character. Well, I went Rumble to the Bomb. Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest, bro. There was danger and all sorts of adventure. It was pretty nuts, so bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? Let's start with chapter one, Waffle Kingdom Letter. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when, I, when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh, this is what the letter said. Sirs, my name's Creep. I'm a cabinet member in the far clean. off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been ke attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our Princess Ypres. <laughs> that sounds like dessert to me! I ask Nay Big for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Kirk. Well, I don't remember exactly, but it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it felt to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh, my God, this oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crep, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, bro, though some oracle said that a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts have been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me a compass base spoken of in Waffler fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me towards Rubble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. <laughs> so yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogue Port for Rumble Bump Volcano, bro. It's probably gonna be a pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. So yeah, Luigi goes on his own adventure while we go on our own. And when everybody says, oh, I want to pay for Luigi, that's the game they're talking about. Luigi's adventure during Thousand Year Door that we never Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard a story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happened? I ended up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you could stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi! He just turned around. Like, Do you have my contact lens yet? Alright, now I'm definitely doing something wrong. So, skip to when I figure out how to get this contact lens. Oh no. What the hell is that? Hey, I'm Mario. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so cool. I never thought I'd meet. A celebrity here. Oh, I know. You want to uh, make an investment, Mario? Oh my God, it's a pyramid scheme. Run, man, run! My name is Luke. I mean, my name is Bill. I'm uh, heading out to Dry Dry Desert to uh, prospect for oil. I lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now is my chance to come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you help me run some money? Get out! I'm accepting an initial. What? Whatever, be that way. <laughs> Contribute to your GoFundMe bullshit. <clears throat> cool, 
of my orders here. Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. It's right here. Walk in. Hey, and I'm there. What are you buying? Oh, the contact lens is right here. <gasps> no! What time to grind? No! <laughs> Oh. Is this a coupon? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Hey, what? Now I'm broke. <clears throat> broke ass bitches. Here's your stupid contact lens. Hope they got the wrong prescription. <laughs> Here you go, Aunt Jemima. A contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Now fuck off. Just go in our house and smash her head. <laughs> Alright. So, to the west side of Rogueport. West Main Street. This is what the west... Oh, there he is. That's not it's... Don Pianta. <laughs> Maybe it's Pianta. I'm gonna hold on, on. The boss told me to look after this place. The boss. You the do. The boss told me to look Hold after on. this place. Hold on. You said you'll do Don Piano. I'll do him. But, but I you do going. anything funny, I'll toss you like that. See, that's all. Toss you like that. Okay. So, I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out without a guide. By the way, guide uh, the I have to buy a dried shroom well, and we a don't have any dizzy dial. Just sell something. <sighs> oh yeah, sell the old shroom. What the heck is that? Is that I, a bow? No. It's bow. That's what bow does. We I think we have a dizzy dial. Yeah, we do. We have a you have to buy them in order though. Damn. How about this? You sell them, and then buy them again. You really don't know how anything works, do you? I'm I'm just try I'm I'm trying, okay. <laughs> uh yeah, I'll sell this. I'll sell I'll sell this ten off. And I'll also sell I'll sell this now. Okay, so, oh, you probably learn this if you go to, like, one of the wizards and they tell you, but I don't care, I'm not doing that. The Magic of Merlin. Buy a dry shroom, then dizzy dial. Why does it have to be in order? It's the Pianta way. Oh. You gotta know the Pianta way. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister, what color is your mustache? Yellow. What's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. What is your favorite color? Yellow. Like Star Wars. Uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. So you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? It's some sketchy shit. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Oh boy. Ready, Cal? I'm about to get my water ready. That's him? Wait, 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 no, that's just a standard Pianta. What with your wise guy? I ain't too jolly today, but if you got beef, spit it out quick, quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want, you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now, 
to me? That's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You ought to be. Okay, I fucking suck at this voice. I thought it was gonna go so much better. You got some nerve asking me for this. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You could do this one. Yeah, you could do it. You want or should I run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What do you rub? Wait the... You must like You pain. must like pain, pony guy. Or you're just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. Now, you just come to talk. Oh, no, that ain't a crime. <laughs> so we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So, I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broads what got herself kidnapped? And a rescue this dangin'? Yo, out collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey, boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Hey, boss. Benny, you're such a dog. Hey, boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue. Don't listen to that blow. The treasure is as real as that. I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. You get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. You really sound like some dude I rode with in the Navy. I made my decision. <laughs> that's that's do, really how, exactly how he sounds. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young what? associates. This is a kid's game, man. They vanished. They vanished. But it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You ought to find my daughter, Francesca, and this Freddy. And bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boss. Man is right. Leave it to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, sir. No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all on a full understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Okay, cool. Hey, bro. And that's why I love I Don Pianta. He's a mafia boss! He's a mob boss! And he's a Pianta! It's amazing! Hey bro, you Only in Mario? this game can they make a Pianta a thank, mob boss! Th th thank god, thank god you took that voice. I, I, I love I, it! I was so bad. Love that character. I was so bad. At love him. Mario? Love him. This is actually probably going to be one of the longer interlude videos. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, there will be a decent amount of cutting between me and finding that contact lens. So luckily I know right where Francesca and Frankie likes to hide. And that's why I went down here earlier. To see if they were here. Oh. Oh. Hey, Jose, Jose, you do yeah, this you want to do this one? Just give it a little tal Italiano accent. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something, or you just like sliding up to people? It depends, Jose. I don't know. I don't know. Why? Daddy asked you to find her. Only 
take a Shazam. Thank you, look at you. Your daddy finds us now. Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dolphix. Maybe we ought to head back and try to try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Franklin, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't I know don't what he'll do if he if we He's do that. He's a country that. side girl. Francesca, baby doll. If we can just talk like, if you just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Franklin, my Franklin, don't you love me? <laughs> Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More... <laughs> Dan. <laughs> More than Dan could ever love anybody. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run. To the end of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. <laughs> Till I marry you, no one will extinguish <coughs> these flames of pa passion. No one. Oh, uh, don't you see, Mister? Smith. I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you Who's do there? that? May I sniff? No way, sob sister. Wait, what? You terrible, terrible man of the finest carriage your way. But we won't have to go with you, never! <laughs> Fine, then we'll just bring your goddamn we'll bring the mob baby. boss of a dad over here and see how this one goes. He's actually gonna... <gasps> oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something about Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I'm facing a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. So, did we have to say that? Is that, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. We don't have that. What, yeah, what can I see? I just don't want you to see one of the main characters for the next chapter. Until you see him. Well, for wait, your... I, has he seen him? Yes. But very briefly. Why can't I see him then? Because when you see him and he matches my voice that I'm going to give him, then you're going to see exactly what this next chapter is about. So... First, we gotta get our blimp ticket. Shit's getting good. It's good. It's getting good. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my mood? So give it. What you got? Do you know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Rogue Port Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. Daddy, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, boss. Truly I am, boss. Frankie, so, back you come. Head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. <laughs> I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, right when your mom leaves. <laughs> Frankie said no. We say you should come back and talk to your daddy. Boss, listen, boss. I don't care what you do to me, boss. I deserve it for all being soil, boss. But you gotta forgive him, boss. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask, boss. No, daddy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm the bad one. My fault. <laughs> if you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me, boss. It's my responsibility, boss. All the blame, right here, boss. Daddy, <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah, enough. Quiet, both of you. 
Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. Fucking shoot, man. Let's and go. And you, Frankie. False. You were like a son to me. False. This is how you're gonna repay your debt to Don Piazza? False. I feel such disappointment in you, too. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> I don't ever want to see a month again. You hear me? Get out of my sight. Both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want, even if it means getting nailed. I mean, boss! Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you for the blessing. Boss, I'll make sure your daughter's a happy woman, boss. I promise you, boss. She'll want, she'll want for nothing, boss. Enough already. Just go. Go. Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy, too. Congrats, both of you. Frank, this is great. If it, if it, it, it ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay. Am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I gotta spoil this right now for you guys. That's not the last we've seen of Francesca. <laughs> nice. What about Don uh, I think he's back, just in a minor role, but not, not, nothing like this. I completely forgot. Hey, you fucker, where's my blimp ticket? <laughs> you still here? Well, you found my daughter. Also, you're on my desk. I don't like anybody on my desk when I don't tell him to be on my desk. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. Thankfully, she's not on my desk. And look at how things turned out. What a complete utter soul puzzle. But hey, a deal's a deal. And you got your blip ticket back on the set. You got your blip ticket. Who knew? That gal got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Her smile's not gonna be the only thing that distracts her. Hey, I knew you were the right nail for the job. Thanks a bunch, pal. Completely missed that joke, by the way. Sorry, it was just a test. <laughs> but I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Next time on 3PG. Why does he hate us? We didn't do anything. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We start one of, if not the best chapter in the game. Well, I, I like one more than this, but this is going to be a good one for all of us. My boy, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. Next time, Glitzville, lots of it. I've been Nick. I've been Kel. Daddy! <laughs> <laughs>